Hi, I'm Stark. And I'm Caden. And welcome back to your daily video announcements. Today for lunch we have spaghetti, cheese breadsticks, fresh broccoli, orange, and a cold milk. Now, let's take a look at today's holidays. Next, let's take a look at the nicest thing with Caden Barnhart. Hey guys, today we are going around asking people what is the nicest thing somebody has done for you. Enjoy. I'm Kenzie Turner, and what is the nicest thing someone's done for me? The nicest thing someone's done for me is they randomly gave me flowers for no reason. <laughs> so, my name's Thomas LeBray, and the nicest thing anyone has ever done for me would probably be um, the time that they made me laugh. Caleb George and probably the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me is like when I moved to this school I didn't have no friends and like a couple people just brought me in and now I'm friends with them like Flint and stuff like on Ramrod you know what I mean oh hello my name is Gisela Reyes and I think the nicest thing someone's ever done for me was probably give me advice and tips on how to do something that I was doing wrong yeah my name's Tristan and the nicest thing someone's done for me is my buddy Baron here he gave me a ride on the elevator. Hi, I'm Lance Welch. One of the nice things that everyone's done for me is keep cheering me on sports, on swim team, basketball, and track. Uh, I, I know I'm graduating this year, but hope this next season I'll try to come watch some of, some of the Hornets games. Well, my name is Baron Pentecost and the nicest thing someone's done for me is when they pull me out of class and I don't have to do my work. I'm Aaron Titus and the nicest thing someone's done for me is when my dad went and got my truck for me uh, before I knew that he was getting it. Hello, my name is Madison Johnson, and the nicest thing that someone has done for me is my only friend, Addison, picking me up for school every morning because I failed my driver's test three times. Next, let's take a quick look at your top five stories of the day. I'm Brock Brown, and these are top five news stories of the day. First up, the CDC says fully vaccinated Americans can return to life without masks. Number two, Biden implores drivers don't panic as the, colonel, uh, the Colonial Pipeline ramps up deliveries. Number three, Wichita Public Schools eSports team is to face off against the U.S. Navy. Number four, Friends, the reunion special is to air May 27th on HBO Max. And number five, 1,000 feral cats were released onto Chicago streets to combat the rat problem. That's all for Top 5. Now back to you guys in the studio. And now for a quick blast to the past, let's take a look at Today in History. <laughs> May 17, 1954. In Washington, the U.S. Supreme Court strikes down racially segregated public schools as separate and unequal. The court's ruling in Brown v. Board of Education of Topeka fuels America's civil rights movement and the eventual end of legal segregation in the United States. 1973. Also in Washington, a U.S. Senate committee begins public hearings to investigate the Watergate scandal. Senator Sam Irvin, Democrat from North Carolina, is in the committee chair. If the many allegations made to this day are true, then the burglars who broke into the headquarters of the Democratic National Committee at the Watergate were in effect breaking into the home of every citizen of the United States. The following year, the scandal forces Richard Nixon to become the first president to resign from office. 1792 birth of the New York Stock Exchange as a group of brokers meets under a tree located on what is now Wall Street. And 1875. The horse Aristides wins the first Kentucky Derby held at the track in Louisville, Kentucky that eventually becomes known as Churchill Downs. Today in history, May 17th, Ross Simpson, The Associated Press. Last, let's head on over to the weather with Ryan Goble. 
Welcome back to your daily weather forecast today. It's going to be partly cloudy with isolated thunderstorms possible with the high of 75. With the winds to the east of 10 to 15 miles an hour with a chance of rain at 30%. Tonight, there's going to be scattered thunderstorms overnight with a low of 59 with the winds to the east of 10 to 15 miles an hour with a chance of rain at 40%. That's all for weather. Now back to you guys in the studio. That's all for today. Make sure to stay classy, VC.